grant me the privilege today of taking you through the steps of making this cute wedding fascinator. Join it's in Kechi from the vent, empowering you to create wealth with tutorials on how to make fascinators, as well as showing you tips and tricks of the craft and various lovely designs I have made. Please check the description below this video for the list of these materials used to make this lovely cute wedding fascinator. The first step is to create our base. This we have done in so many of our videos. If you check the video up, the suggested video, you will see how to make this base. The next step is to make the bow you see on top of the base. So first of all, pull out the thread. Then we're going to sew the tips, the two tips. So that's what I'm doing right now. A little advert from the vent, yes, we have a brooch class coming up which will help you know how to make brooches for your fascinators, your top bands, brooches for lapels. Join in, check the link in the description below, you will see the link to join in. I'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side. Okay, the two edges are sewn now, so the next thing we're going to fold it like so. Then, you're going to fold the two parts like I did just watch probably I'm not using the right English but you will get what I mean okay you sew like that then you do same to the other side can you see what I'm doing okay take your thread in and it pushes it in like that so can you see our bowl is taking shape yeah yeah so now our bowl is ready so we're going to place it on top of the base so that's the base and we sew it to secure the two firmly together the next thing we're going to do is to attach our comb and this is the way we attach a comb you sew in between teeth to grab all the teeth ensure you take in all the teeth so that the comb is secured on the base next step is to take our pipe and form well i think that's like a bowl yes so that's how i do it and I'm going to sew it like so to secure it so that it doesn't loosen and attach it on top of the bow that is on top of the crinoline base. Then we attach our stone trimmings to cover up the sewing. That's it. If you gain value from this video, yeah, give us a thumbs up, like, and if you've not subscribed, do subscribe. Looking forward to seeing you in.